once you have your SAMI camera mounted where you want it, where you have a good view of your child in bed, one of the first things you wanna do is set up the border. And this means that anything outside the border, any motion outside the border won't set off the alarm. So like if a dog goes running by the bed, for example, as long as that's outside the border, it won't set anything off. And when you go into the app, there are a lot of other settings that you can work through. The motion and alarm threshold are probably the most important because that kind of sets how much motion you need to have to set off the alarm and for how long that needs to go for. You can also set up an alarm schedule, which is great so that it won't be alarming any motion when your child's maybe not even in the room. Um, you can set the alarm volume and what kind of sound you want it to make. They have a few different options for sound. Um, and so then here's an example of motion that's going to be picked up when I put a blanket on my son while he's sleeping. But because the motion isn't continuous and it doesn't go, it doesn't hit the 20 second threshold that I have set, it doesn't set off any alarms. But here in this instance, this is my son having some seizure activity. And you'll see that the green line is the motion. So it'll go down as the motion starts to slow down. We'll go back up when the motion starts to move more. And then the red line is that, that 20 second threshold that I have it set to. So as long as that motion is going on above my sensitivity level for more than 20 seconds, it hits the alarm and then I hear about it. So now if I wanna go into recordings and see where are other alarms that went off, this is a recording of other seizure activity that my son had. There's a seizure there that set off the alarm because his motion before that seizure was going on for the 20 seconds of allotted time.